guys, it's Tilly, and today I am doing two unboxings. I don't know if that's allowed, but I'm going to do it anyway because I am a rebel. But basically, these are book box subscription boxes. That's right, words come easy to me. Which are basically like God's greatest gift to mankind because not only do you get a book in these box subscriptions, but you also get a bunch of goodies that you are bound to love because it's like book stuff plus merchandise plus it comes in a box that is delivered to your door. What greater thing could there possibly be? So I'm gonna get straight into it. The first one is an Australian based subscription box and I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of these guys before. If you watch my unboxing videos. This is the YA Chronicles and I absolutely adore this box because this is made and packaged in Australia. It has a lower freight charge than what other companies do and they have really great stuff inside of them so I'm going to just start unboxing this because that's what we're all really here for. Right. As always I like to avoid that uh, tax invoice on the top there because that is just money that I've spent. And we are now opening the red tissue paper. And first up, it looks like we've got an illustrated design. So this is kind of like a really nice illustration from Cinderella. They've done like the reverse colors and it's quite colorful and pretty. So I know I'm going to use that one. Okay, this next thing is absolutely adorable and I already have so many things on my car keys, but I'm going to have to add this Niffler keychain to it because it is so cute. There you guys have him and all of his cuteness and I can't wait to add this to my collection of amazing keyrings. Next up, we have these little handmade magnetic bookmarks. These look like the characters from A Darker Shade of Magic. It looks like it could be, I know that one's Rai or Re. So I don't really know how people pronounce his name. I just kind of in my head call him Rai, so I'm hoping that that's what everyone else calls him. And I'm not entirely sure who the other one is, so give me one second. It says Rai and Elucrid. I don't know why I didn't even presume that. I should have known, but you know, I'm gonna just have to pick up my book skills. Yes, I love this next part. Um, for those of you guys who have read The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern, it is a fantastic and poetic and beautiful book, and this is one admit ticket to the show. I'm not even gonna try and like read out the entire card because I just know that I'm gonna pronounce things wrong, but it's like really, really pretty and I'm gonna really treasure this because I absolutely love that book. We have the Way Chronicles bookmark which has the theme of this box and it is Bippity Boppity Book. Nice. Oh my god, this next thing is so cool. Um, so this is the Book of Dark Forces. This is a Harry Potter inspired um, notebook and that glare is really killing me. If I hold it at that angle, you guys can kind of see what it is. But it's really, really cool and I always have a need for notebooks and writing down pointless things, so it's perfect. Okay, so the final reveal of the item in this box is the actual book itself. And I know a few of you guys will be excited for this because I really, really am. I've been looking forward to this from like the moment that it was announced. And that one is The Stunning The Secret Science of Magic by Melissa Gill. She also wrote Life in Outer Space and The Incredible Adventures of Cinnamon Girl. This also came with a Love Was YA card um, on it as well. And I'm just really, really excited for this. I will leave a link to the description of this book below and I'll also leave a link to the Wire Chronicles so you guys can take a look at them and realise if you guys do want to read this book or not. And as for everything else, um, it was amazing and thank you guys for creating another fantastic box. You have never ceased to disappoint me at all so far. Ever. And now for the second box. This is also the second time that I've ever received this box and the very first time I got it, it was probably one of my absolute favourite things that I could have ever unboxed. So this next one is one of the biggest unboxing companies in my opinion and that is Owlcrate. And I know why they are so big, it is because they are absolutely fantastic. So Owlcrate here is just like one of my all time favourite subscription boxes and the people that create this are so amazing and kind and I just have a lot of love for them. Also, the last time I did an unboxing of this, I set the box on fire. So this might be a little bit more tame in comparison. So this is the March box, which is Sailors, Ships and Seas. And I won't go ahead and read all the information there because it'll spoil some of the stuff that's in the box. So we have the little worm thingies, which I made the mistake of various times of just throwing everywhere. And the cleanup for that is ridiculous, but messy. Okay, so back to the unboxing. First up, we've got this little bag here. It's from the Geeky Cauldron. Oh, it's got a necklace in it. I am so excited. Oh, that is so cute. So it's like nautical theme. So you've got an anchor on it and a compass on a like steering wheel as well. And it is absolutely adorable. And I freaking love that. We have some 
Tape 10 meters, yes. That is like the mermaid kind of styled tape. I don't really know what to call that kind of color, but it's really pretty. It's purple and gold, like bronze gold, and it's just really, really nice. This is so cute. The illustration on this is absolutely adorable. It's a little octopus wearing a little like newspaper hat, but this is a notepad from Boy Girl Party, and it's so cool. I love the color of it as well, and I just know that I'm going to be using this quite a lot, but hopefully like not enough because I don't want to use it, if that makes sense. It's like, it's so cute that I want to save it forever. Ooh, what is this? A ship is always safe at shore, but that is not what it's built for. And this is a tea towel, I believe. But that's like a super cute design on it. And I really love the saying on it as well, that's adorable. And that's from Kitsch. You got a little owl crate badge that's going to be made into a pirate, which is absolutely adorable. Then we also have an advertisement for Song of the Current by Sarah Tolisha. An epic story about danger and destiny. And then the actual book is Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenselgela. Excuse me if I said that wrong. Um, this is in hardcover and it also comes with an author's note on the back. And I think it's got some stickers in there as well. Please tell me that is a temporary tattoo. Yes. Oh my god, um, you also have a signed book plate by the author, and then yeah, you've also got the letter to the readers from the author, which I'm very excited about. So in this book you have the Pirate King's daughter who gets captured by her enemies so that she can go and find out information on the ship. I think there's like a key or just some information that she needs to collect. And she's pretty kick-ass and badass and just amazing in general, so it's a pretty easy task for her, except there is one character who gets in her way, and that is the handsome and intelligent first mate, and perhaps there might be love options here but uh, I hope there will be a lot of badassery in this. And as the last part of the Alcrat unboxing, the theme for next month's box, which is the April box, I know I'm a little bit late to that because it's like the end of April, but it is Head Over Heels and you guys should be Head Over Heels for Alcrat because this is a book box that's just going to take me on an absolute adventure and it was fantastic and I loved everything inside of it and I cannot wait to read the book. Thank you to Alcrat for sending me out this and I will once again leave a link to all of Alcrat and the book as well below so you guys can check it all out and I highly recommend because they're fantastic and I really love them. And like I said, book box subscriptions, if you guys can afford it or if you guys want to give a gift to one of your friends, this is one of the perfect ways to do so. And I just hit the box onto the floor. I'll be back again soon with another video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. And if you didn't, well then I'm going to stuff you into a box and send you far, far away. I'm just kidding. I don't have that kind of money to ship a human body. <laughs> have a lovely bookish day and hopefully I'll see you guys again soon. I am also sorry that I'm still very, very behind on my videos. I still have no idea when I'm going to post my Q&A or my bookshelf tour video because I'm one heart mess. But if you guys have any other video recommendations you want me to do, leave them in the comments below. Or if you guys have any opinions on these books or subscribe description boxes leave a comment below as well and I'm just gonna read your comments and hopefully reply to them and just really bathe in your amazingness before I keep on rambling I'm gonna go have a good day and um, mwah, bye come on don't we all kind of just want to read some books sometimes where people don't fall in love and have a happy ever after we're not really asking for much